today I'm going to be teaching you a pottery painting technique called the ombre effect. Um, we're going to be doing that on a cup today. Um, what the ombre effect is, is where you kind of fade colours that are kind of like each other, um, graduate them into each other. So uh, we're going to use quite a similar type of colours here, which is a purple, uh, raspberry pink and a light pink. If you don't have colours that you think will fade naturally into each other, you can always just use a colour um, and then lighten uh, it up with, say, a white to make, say, a light pink. Um, we're also going to be using uh, three sponges, one for each paint uh, colour. We're using sponges rather than brushes because it works better for graduating the colours into each other. Um, also your paint palette and your water. So uh, let's get going. Okay, so we've got our three colours in the palette. So we're going to start with the darkest colour at the bottom, which is our purple colour. And we're going to just start splodging that on. I'd actually wet the paint or the uh, sponge a little tiny bit and squeezed it out before I started. It just uh, seems to work better if it's a little bit damp. Same as when you're using brushes. Always have them a little bit damp but not wet. And you want to suppose be going about a third of the way up uh, and then you're going to leave your brush down you're actually going to go on to the second colour and you're going to start blending this into the purple colour. Uh, now you're actually going to do three coats with uh, each colour so you've got plenty of time to do the blending. So don't worry how it looks the first time. And then you can kind of start slightly overlapping the colour here. And now we bring our pink in. A good tip for getting the top of your cup done is to actually just flip your cup up and just go, because you're going to end up with pink all the way around the top of your mug anyway. And you can actually do inside as well if you wanted, but if you just wanted a nice rim along there, you just dab the brush in there, just the way I did. Can start running it across your uh, handle as well. So, ombre effect cup finished and signed. So we just need to leave it to dry for uh, at least 24 hours before we glaze and fire it in our kiln, uh, which uh, actually is another video we're going to do, which reminds me, um, if you uh, liked this video, please uh, like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.